Hey, what's up guys? John here from Warrior Fitness. I had a question about foot position, foot placement in the push-up. So I want to cover three basic positions of the feet while you're doing the push-up. And I want to preface this by saying it depends on what your training goal is, okay? So for example, in the first one, it's if we're training for strength, then you have to remember that muscular tension equals strength and the more muscular tension you can recruit the stronger you will be okay so in the first one what we're gonna do is <clears throat> keep the feet close together and we're gonna lock out the knees so we're here feet are together knees are locked I am driving my heels back so that's engaging my quads I'm tightening my glutes and I am squeezing my core. And then from here, I can do my push-up. Now, <clears throat> this is good because it also has the effect of making my body lighter. So the tighter you are, the lighter you are, right? Um, so again, training for strength, that's the way to go. If, however, you are training for grappling, for striking, for martial arts, then I would suggest having your body much more relaxed because the more relaxed you can be, then the heavier you're going to feel. And the heavier you feel, the heavier your strikes are and the tougher you are to deal with as a grappling opponent, right? Because if we, if we focus on the, the strength push-up, then your body becomes tight and light and then you're easy to fight okay so that's not really what we want in training for striking and grappling okay so if we're going to train for striking and grappling and yet we're still going to do the same push-up keep the same basic hand position we're not going to change that today just focus on the feet what i want to do here is kind of keep my feet about shoulder width apart. My knees are not locked, they're slightly bent. And from here now I can feel the weight of my body more. And I'm consciously trying to relax in this position and feel heavier. And then, whoo, whoo, whoo. As I do my push up, now my body is relaxed. It's not, it's not slack, okay? Not, not that relaxed, but it's organized. It's properly organized and relaxed and then I can be heavy and then that heaviness will translate over to my striking and my grappling okay the last one is just a variation of the, the second one's foot position and that's with the feet kind of one on top of the other and in this position same idea I want to be relaxed my knees slightly bent and the reason here is just I can have my stabilizers work a little bit more because I'm on the one foot and I can feel the weight of my body, okay? And it just kind of changes where I'm holding my weight a little bit. So I can do do my push-ups that way as well, all right? So the moral of the story is your foot placement kind of depends on your goal. And again, like I said, in the first one, if your goal is strength, keep the feet together. You can even squeeze the thighs together as you're tightening the legs, okay? So that will have an added effect of creating that, that tension, okay? And in the last two, be as relaxed as possible. Don't be slack, but organize your body, stay relaxed, feel how heavy you can be in the push-up. And guess what? You probably won't be able to do as many because it's heavier and it's more challenging. But the carryover to your, your martial art or your sport is gonna be significant. All right guys, any other questions? Let me know, talk soon.